Special shout out to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Keep your entire digital life secure on all your devices with just one account using Surfshark VPN. Since the dawn of our existence, humans have harnessed the power of nature to advance our place in the world. From using fire to cook food and power steam engines, to channeling electricity to power homes and send humans to the moon. Over the past century, computer technology has allowed humankind to advance further than we ever imagined. Now scientists and engineers are on the cusp of taking us to our next evolutionary step by harnessing the power of quantum mechanics to create machines that can achieve the impossible. Quantum computers are not just a more advanced version of our current computers. They are something entirely new and different. But how do they work, and are they really better than our current computers? Traditional or classical computers use binary digits, or bits, which are the smallest units used to measure data. Bits are like tiny switches that can either be in the on position or the off position, which are represented by a 1 or a 0. All computer data, from CGI you see in movies to the apps on your phone, even this video you're watching right now, are made up of millions of bits in some combination of ones and zeros. However, even our most powerful supercomputers have their limitations, largely because the actual physical world doesn't always exist in an on or off or binary state. The world is a bit more unpredictable sometimes, full of all kinds of uncertainty. Over the last century, physicists have discovered that as we get down to the smallest building blocks of our reality, things become even more uncertain. The field of quantum mechanics has evolved in order to help study and understand strange phenomena that exist in the quantum realm. By harnessing these principles, scientists and engineers have been able to develop quantum computers. Instead of bits, quantum computers use quantum bits or qubits, which are often made out of subatomic particles, usually photons, electrons, or ions. These particles have a magnetic field, or a spin, similar to a bar magnet with a north and south pole. When you place one of these particles in a magnetic field, it will align with that field, like a compass where the needle points north because the magnet inside aligns itself with the Earth's magnetic pole. When the compass needle points north, it is in the lowest energy state, called its zero state, or spin down. If energy is applied to the compass needle, it can point downward against the pull of the magnetic field. This charge state is its one state, or spin up. So like classical bits, qubits have a one and zero state, but they have a very special attribute that completely set them apart. Imagine that compass needle again. What might happen if you flick the needle and it started to spin around rapidly? While it's in motion, is it up or down? The truth is, we might say it's both. The quality of being both up and down, one and zero, is called superposition and is what makes Quibbit so incredible. Where classical bits can never only be 0 or 1, qubits can be both simultaneously. Why is this quality so special? Imagine your computer is trying to figure out a password that is 4 bits long. That might seem relatively simple, but even just 4 bits can have 16 different combinations. To figure out the password, a traditional computer would try each combination one at a time until it found the one that worked. But a quantum computer could try all 16 combinations at the same time because all four qubits can exist as both a 1 or a 0 simultaneously. Essentially, four qubits have the same computational capacity as 16 classical bits. This means a quantum computer can solve problems like these in a fraction of the time it takes a classical computer. It also means that the power of quantum computers grows exponentially the more qubits you add. The truth is that quantum computers won't be universally helpful, at least not at first. They won't, for instance, replace the computers in your smartphone or laptop, as they generally don't handle very complex problems. However, there are many areas where our current computers really struggle and where quantum computers could have a chance to shine. The first is optimization, finding the best solution to a problem among many possible solutions. For instance, trying to find the most effective route between two points. Current computers need to explore every possible solution one at a time until it finds the most efficient route. This process would obviously be incredibly time consuming, especially if more complex data points are factored into the equation. However, a quantum computer, in theory, 
could explore every possible route simultaneously before presenting the most efficient route. This type of optimization holds immense potential for emerging technologies like self-driving cars, where a master system could theoretically assess all the moving vehicles, traffic patterns, stop signs, and potential road hazards all at the same time to present vehicles with the safest and most efficient route possible. It could also revolutionize AI, allowing computers to analyze and program themselves by exploring all possible data combinations and outcomes, arriving at the most efficient result. Besides optimization, quantum computers can also potentially trump classical computers when it comes to advanced simulations, especially when it comes to problems involving large, unknown, unquantifiable data points. This could revolutionize biology, chemistry, and even physics itself, as these computers utilize the same principles that make up these disciplines. Our current strongest, fastest computers can only simulate relatively small molecule clusters, mostly due to lack of processing space. A quantum computer could have the ability to factor in all the various data points with these structures, accurately analyze them, and simulate them in real time. This processing power could revolutionize medicine, giving scientists the ability to accurately simulate the very systems they are trying to understand. Before we get back to the show, I want to take a quick moment and talk about our sponsor, Surfshark. If you've ever used public Wi-Fi at the coffee shop or an airport, your data isn't very secure. Using a VPN service can encrypt your data and ensure no one can see what you're doing online. And with an exit node in some other location, people won't even have a clue where you're coming from. That's interesting because where a site thinks you're coming from might determine the price you pay for things like airplane tickets. So try a few different locations and make sure you always get the best deals. Or maybe you want to access streaming content that is only available for people in a specific region. You could do all of that with Surfshark. So take your online security to the next level and get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.deals/tubadavinci and enter promo code tubadavinci for 83% off and an extra three months for free. And thank you, Surfshark, for being a friend of the show. Anywhere where large, uncertain, complicated problems exist, quantum computers have the chance to excel. And as the technology advances, the applications could be endless. As of right now, one of the biggest inhibiting factors has been building and managing these super machines. Because quantum computers use particles that are smaller than atoms, they are extremely sensitive to all kinds of interference, such as shifts in temperature or even electromagnetic waves. To protect the delicate superpositions, quantum computer chips are kept isolated in special containment vessels and chilled down to near absolute zero, which is colder than interstellar space. However, in recent years, some of the biggest names in tech have achieved some incredible breakthroughs in quantum computing. Right now, IBM has a quantum computer which users can interact with on their website. On October 23rd, 2019, Google, in partnership with the US National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA announced that it had achieved quantum supremacy, the point at which a quantum computer can actually outperform a classical computer. According to a research paper published by the tech giant, their 54 qubit processor named Sycamore performed a target computation in 200 seconds, determining that it would take the world's fastest supercomputers approximately 10,000 years to solve. These claims have been disputed by rivals like IBM, who claim their supercomputers could have solved that problem in a matter of days, not thousands of years. Still, Google's achievements represent an incredible breakthrough in quantum computing and signal that this technology might be accessible in the near future. Quantum computer technology can truly usher in a new era of human evolution, a reality in which we can use our technology to analyze information, find viable solutions to the biggest problems facing our planet, and even spot a few problems that we couldn't even see before. This is a topic that I find really fascinating, and I think I need to keep reading up with it because the level of progress is pretty staggering. As I made this video, I realized that there's been more advancement than I thought. And this topic is crazy complicated. So if you have questions, let us know, or if you're a master or work in this field, please leave us your comments. And also in the future, if you wanna 
see a video more in depth about how the tech actually works, let us know. I think historically we found covering topics more topically generally appeals to more of you, but let us know. Uh, it's always something we want to hear from you guys about. And just a reminder, we now have a YouTube membership program. So if you want to support our effort there, we'll have a link in the description. And of course you can support us on Patreon. A special shout out to all of our patrons on Patreon for all your support. If you want to be a rock star supporter of this show, consider supporting us on Patreon. And if you like this video and you thought this was cool and you love learning about the future, check out this video that we did last week on Neuralink, which is an incredible story of this crazy brain implant that will radically change the world. Or this video on Starlink, the crazy new satellite system that will revolutionize the internet and how it is distributed around the world.